Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll learn how to host a .NET Core website or a .NET Framework website. So let's get into it. The hosting platform that we will be using today is called SmarterASP.NET. Uh, let's go to SmarterASP.NET and let's browse through its hosting plans. It has got free trial for 60 days. Uh, this is very useful as it, as it offers to host one web application uh, and connect to one uh, SQL Server database or a MySQL database. Uh, so developers can use that to test their website, their web application. So that's that's really handy and you don't need a credit card to, to register to that. The other plan plans that uh, this website offers is the basic advanced and premium. I currently have the advanced option but I did use their 60 day free trial to test out my website and when everything was working fine for 60 days I switched on to the advanced plan. Uh, it just costs $4.95 per month. Uh, you can see that I have access to 6 websites and unlimited bandwidth and uh, I have access to six databases as well, six uh, SQL Server databases with a capacity of 3 GB. So that's quite a lot for a normal application and the plans are really cheap. Uh, it's a Windows Server. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, I'll uh, go to the customer login. I already have registered with them. So I'll just sign in directly. Once you sign in, you can go to the uh, control panel and create a new site. I'll name my site to be called new website and submit it. I'll wait for it to finish and this will create a website for me. I'll also open my Visual Studio to create a project, uh, just a basic project uh, and publish this project uh, to the smarter ASP.NET uh, hosting service so I have a few websites already there but this is the new website that we created we will quickly go to the show web deploy information and we will turn it on initially this would be off and you can turn it off by just toggling with this button but uh, I want it to be on and I will also get the publishing settings this will download a published settings file onto my PC now back to my Visual Studio I would like to create a new project it will just be a basic website uh, it, I am asking it to be an ASP.NET Core web application uh, when you're happy with the location and the name just continue with that and I'll just choose web application MVC and configure for HTTPS that's fine click OK this will create my website uh, for me with a basic bootstrap template Now that's done, we'll just quickly test it locally uh, and see if the website is up and running. As you can see, our .NET Core application is up and running. We'll just close this and we will now try to push this uh, website uh, onto the hosted service uh, onto as a website. So I'll right click on the project, I'll say publish and in here I will import the profile that I just downloaded from their from smarterasp.net website so I'll select it and give my password this is the password uh, that smarterasp.net uses to connect to their FTP so now it's, it is starting the publishing process It came with an error and to resolve this you basically have to go to configure it the error is complaining about the certificate and in in configure when I when I click on configure I'll try to validate the connection I'll give the password again and click OK 
and it may have uh, asked you uh, to install a certificate because it doesn't trust the certificate over there so you may have to click ok and because i've done it once it just did a validation correct for me i'll click save over here and i'll try to publish this again And as you can see now, it's trying to push the files over there and has done that. And now our website is up and running on this temporary URL that uh, that smarterasp.net has given us. And we can always change this URL to be a custom domain by managing domain, but that's a different topic, which we will not cover today. Uh, but as you saw, it's, it's very easy to publish your website your asp.net core or a dotnet framework website um, using this uh, smarter asp.net hosting service uh, i hope you liked my video if you liked it uh, please give us a big thumbs up uh, share it and and do subscribe to our content uh, thank you so much for watching have a nice day